Hi everybody, in this video we are going to take a look at how to twist an object using a pretty simple method. It uses a modifier called the simple to four modifier. So you can take an object like this, knowing you can twist it to later get an object that looks like that. And you can twist it as much as you want. So here's what we have to do before we start. I'm just going to get into solid mode here. Uh, let's take a look at the wireframe. You're going to notice Oh, the wireframe's not the best one for this. Let's just go into edit mode. You're going to notice my mesh. It has a lot of loop cuts where the object can actually be twisted. Now, when I actually just use this one here, you're going to notice that I have no loop cuts. Okay, so that's going to be the first thing we do. So I'm going to add a whole bunch of loop cuts here. So let's just go over in edit mode to loop cut and slide. Get it on there. Roll the mouse wheel. Uh, get as many as you want there, position them, perfect. Okay, let's get back into object mode. Now this is going to be twistable because, you know, the mesh can twist a bit with all those divisions in there. Now, here we go with our twisting. Before we actually do the twist, a lot of these modifiers want an object that you use to help control the twist. So here's what I'm going to do. The object I'm going to put in here, I'm going to add instead of creating an actual object like a mesh that's going to show up in the world I'm going to put something in called an empty. An empty is basically uh, an object that is nothing so you don't see it but it can be used to help you control stuff and you'll see it work in here. So let's add the plane axes. It's going to be made wherever the cursor is so the cursor is right there so we're not going to see it too easily. Add empty plane axes. There it is. You'll see it on our list. It is in the world and there it is right there. So it's sort of nothing. So I'll put it back there, Alt-G. And let's now try the twisting modifier. So let's actually just scale this a little longer. Here we go. So modifier, add. Let's go for simple to form. Twist is the default one. There's another video, by the way, on bend, which is a nice one to use. And then it asks us here, what axis? Let's use the empty. And you'll see the purpose of that. Now you'll see this little bit of twisting right from the start. Angle, 45. If you actually, let's increase this to 180, this just means it's going to twist the object 180 degrees. Uh, if you don't believe me that's 180, let's straighten it out all the way back down to zero. And you can see it actually, that's pretty good. You can see that that's what 90 looks like. Come on. So there's 90 you'll see the upper face has twisted 90 degrees compared to the bottom face, right? The corner switch. So by the time you get up to 180, it looks a little bit more. And if you were to type 360, even more, right? So you can do lots of little things with the twist when you need some twisting. Uh, that's really the basics of it. Now, what's that empty used for? The empty, let me just make sure it's selected here. The empty helps control the twist so you can actually do some extra little fancy things with it right as you actually move the empty around now that's not too important but you can see you could get animation going by moving the empty it actually can move and affect your object uh, for now I would just be happy with putting the empty having its origin at the same origin as your object. So it's basically like almost inside your object right at its origin and that's going to work fine for you. You can even see if you don't do the empty and you don't plan on doing anything fancy with it, you don't even actually need the empty. You could have just gone to the modifier and applied the twist. Anyways, that's the basics. A few little extras here. You have limits. Limits tells us let's apply this twist from the very beginning to 1, 100% 1, to the very end. That's where I should, let's say, be moving 180 degrees. But if you want, you could say, let's ignore, let's only start twisting 30% through the object. So you can see it doesn't do it, doesn't do it, doesn't do it. I hit 31% of the object there. That's when it starts to twist and it finishes off at 1. Or I could take this down to 70 or so, and now you can see the effect. It does the 180 twisting only starting at 30% and ending at around 70%. Okay, that's it. That's the bend modifier. Have fun with it.